So I'm at a service call that I was actually out at last week and the part just came in. So I'm actually doing the repair. Uh, I just wanted to go over a little bit of what I ran into. I'm on one of these Train XV18. It's one of the fully communicating train uh, products. And when I was out here on the thermostat, it was a train thermostat, I was getting an error code 126. Um, basically it's equipment reporting, does not match the equipment originally discovered. So what was happening is it was basically not registering or reading the outdoor unit anymore. So I literally just had the gas furnace and the heat pump would just not, it was like it didn't exist. Uh, I tried doing a bunch of resetting and restarting on the, the thermostat and just kind of like rediscover it, just try to get to pick it up and it would not pick it up no matter what I did. Cycle power, just pretty much everything I could think of. Um, eventually got a hold of tech support and was talking with tech support and they had me do a couple little tests on this outdoor drive right here um, so the drive is kind of like their main uh, control board right here it's this huge deal here and it's all kind of built in to monitor everything um, and we went over everything and we basically kind of came to the conclusion that it was just a bad drive um, then he gave me a code so these drives are actually under warranty for 10 years but to get the warranty, you actually have to have their tech support give you a code. Otherwise, you can't just like write it up and turn it in for warranty because they won't honor the warranty until you, you talk to tech support and get this basic authorization code. So I got the code, got the drive ordered up, took about four or five days, um, got back out here. It was actually pretty simple and straightforward. So I... Uh, just disconnected all the wires obviously it killed power first disconnect all the wires um, and then the main little power plug down here I disconnected that and then there's these three little bolts right here I just took all those off and it opens up this plate because actually senses refrigerant temperatures um, so my piping goes up and it goes through um, so I pulled all that off and they actually give you I think they call it like a thermal paste or something like that it came in this um, this tube right here and they just basically wanted to you can kind of see the thermal paste right here they just want it to be a good connection in everything so I put that paste all over everything in there um, to get a good temperature reading for it um, put everything back together on this guy um, went back into the the indoor thermostat like I said it's a full-on train communicating thermostat um, and once I applied power at the disconnect here to the unit it actually pretty much instantly resynced up and was reading everything properly like it was supposed to um, so it instantly just kind of did everything for me on that part but that was definitely that drive that was bad um, it doesn't happen a ton like I think we've only ran into a few of them in our company so far and it's been pretty easy as soon as you get a hold of tech support and they kind of go through that diagnostic with you um, and give you that code. I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's just kind of like changing on a normal board for the most part. Um, but yeah, I just want to kind of go over this because I know when people see those drives and they're not used to work on them, they're kind of a freaky thing to see because it's definitely not, not normal. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was really straightforward and now everything's communicating and talking. Uh, just fine and I actually just kicked it on into cooling um, and you can see that it's it's actually just kicked on it's cooling right now uh, if you have any questions I mean put them down below uh, anything you guys want to add put it down below uh, but otherwise thanks for watching if you haven't already please subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up all right thank you guys something to add is this little plug drive right here needs to be plugged into the new board um, they put this little red zip tie on it so you definitely want to reuse the one that was on the old board um, that's what has all the programming to tell this drive like basically what it is as far as like what model and all that kind of stuff so all the programming's in that plug so definitely make sure you reuse the plug that you had unless that's for some reason compromised and then um, you know whatever your parts house is would have to give you the proper one you'd need but yeah otherwise almost always reuse the same same plug on your new uh, your new drive um, but yeah that's something I just wanted to add I know I've seen that become an issue on
different um, units that have something similar so just make sure you add that drive